Let's look at Channel Strip 3, the latest version of the classic all-in-one signal processor from Metric Halo. If you're familiar with Channel Strip, the first thing you'll notice is the user interface has been redesigned graphically. We've also made the user interface resizable, so that it's easy to use on screen sizes from an 11-inch MacBook Air to a 27-inch monitor and beyond. By clicking on the Help button, you can get on-screen descriptions of any control by hovering over them. You can also get help at any time by hovering over a control and holding the question mark key. Now we'll go through Channel Strip 3's signal path. First is the Polarity Invert button. This is useful for aligning multiple microphones on a drum kit. Next we have the Master Input Gain, which allows you to apply 24 dB of cut or boost to the signal going into the Channel Strip processing. Signal then goes into the gate. A new feature is Master Auto Enable. When you change any setting in a processing block, the master enable will automatically turn on if it's off. This ensures that you'll never make phantom adjustments, thinking that your changes aren't audible when the processor is off. Another new feature in Channel Strip 3 is the sidechain listen. This lets you monitor the key input from another channel, or listen to the sidechain filter as you adjust it. Next is the compressor section. We've added the character of the Mio compressor from our hardware interfaces to make it easy to get the same sounds natively as you can in our 2D environment. Another new feature is scalable gain reduction meters. You can set the meter scale between 3 and 54 dB by right or control clicking the reduction meter. When you're trying to make subtle adjustments you can see a very small gain range or open the gain display up to see more dramatic changes. The third processing section is the EQ, which features six bands of fully swept equalization, with each band offering six different filter shapes. The output of the EQ goes to the master gain fader, and then into the final processor, the limiter. You can dial in up to 12 dB of limiting, with auto gain to make the output level remain the same. By clicking this disclosure button, we can see the graphs associated with the gate, compressor, and EQ sections. To make a change to any of the filters, simply click and drag the dot in the transfer function. When working with the EQ, the green trace shows the overall EQ response. When you change a filter, you will see a second trace that shows the properties of that individual band. One of the major new features in Channel Strip 3 is the addition of spectral analysis from our SpectraFoo audio analyzer. By clicking the SpectraFoo logo, you can view real-time audio analysis in the graphs. By right or control clicking the graph, you can set the gain scale, as well as show instant or average frequency response. When channel strip 3 is used on a stereo channel, you can also choose the left channel, right channel, or both. Channel strip 3 ships with the same library of presets used by top engineers for over 14 years. If you need inspiration, recall one of the over 100 preset starting points and then tweak the settings to make the sound your own.